um, this is um, uh, this water comes from here it's also airlifted up and goes into the pipe and I have holes in the pipe every foot and when it trips um, the water flows through the holes a little but most of it comes to the end here and then it flows back underneath and at the side so at the side here there's enough of a gap for it to flow back but sh should trip any minute and we'll see we'll see what happens then so this is just soil There's nothing fancy in it and I've, this has been going for a week or ten days now there we go there's the water coming out here and then it comes dripping out through the holes underneath as well so maybe at one stage uh, I think I'm going to leave it going out to the end here and just see how things work out over time I might raise this up higher because this is only it's not very tall and uh, yeah it's just Another experimental siloponics uh, setup. See, it's still dripping there. Uh, well, <clears throat> water being airlift pumped it up again. Now, <clears throat> I usually have this, it's called, um, what's it called? <clears throat> constriction airlift. But in this case, I didn't bother putting the constriction in because it pump so quickly without the constriction but if I put a constriction in I will get maybe the pumping would be about a third faster than that but uh, yeah we'll, we'll see later on